So there have been some conflicting reports about whether Newcastle are close to signing Leon central midfielder Bruno Guimaraes. It was reported, I think at the start of yesterday, that Newcastle had agreed a deal for the Brazilian worth around £33 million. Now at the time of recording, it's still unclear about whether this deal has actually been agreed because Leon have come out angrily uh, denying the statement and saying it's not true at all and that no deal has yet been agreed. But I'm going to break down the statistics behind Bruno Guimaraes, analysing what sort of player Newcastle or whichever club does eventually sign him will be getting. But before I get into that, for cheap good quality football jerseys, retro jerseys and tracksuits, go over to www.jerseyfifa.com, a link will be left in the description below, and use code ALANTISFOOTBALL to get 5% off. Also, if you do want a well-made phone case that will protect your phone and you also like football, check out the link in the description to go to lclassicocases.com. Atlantis Football are in partnership with them. You can get cases there for less than £20 and if you use code AF at checkout, you also get 25% off. So Guimaraes is a 24-year-old Brazilian central midfielder and I'd describe him as a box-to-box all-round central midfielder, very much in the mould of a young Steven Gerrard and Arturo Vidal. Or if you wanted a more modern comparison, maybe someone like Joshua Kimmich, who can really do everything in central midfield. Guimaraes in general is a fantastic progressor of the ball. He receives the ball in central midfield and he's able to drive past players in a very similar way to how we saw Moussa Dembele do for Tottenham a few years ago. And having a player in central midfield who has the ability to do this makes it a lot easier to progress the ball into the opposition's half and then into the final third. But Guimaraes is a fantastic passer as well. When he receives the ball in the centre of midfield, he's instantly looking to either play a through ball to split the opposition's back line or a ball over the top to release an on-running attacker. And this is where he creates most of these chances, which is perfect for a quick transition in attack and would definitely suit a side like Manchester United or Liverpool who look to counter press, win the ball back and instantly attack. And this is exactly why I call him an all round midfielder comparing him to the likes of Gerrard and Vidal as he's a fantastic standing tackler being able to anticipate where the ball is going to go moving out of the midfield line to make the tackle. And as soon as he wins the ball back, rather than doing what a lot of ball winning central midfielders do, which is look for the simple pass just to retain possession, he's instantly looking for those through passes to release on running attackers in order to create a chance. He also likes to push forward into the final third and around the box his interplay is fantastic, being able to play quick one touch passes to move the attack forward before looking to create a chance or we do see him sometimes making a run ahead of play into a goal scoring position. Now when we look at his FB ref report we can see how good he is. He ranks in the 98th percentile for both progressive passes and progressive carries whilst also ranking in the 84th percentile for dribbles completed showing just how good he is at progressing the ball from the centre of midfield. But also for what I call the complementary statistics like passes attempted passes completed progressive passes received etc he's also ranking very highly as well which is always good to see in a central midfielder but the thing that separates him from other central midfielders on the market is his output in the final third he ranks in the 95th percentile for shot creating actions the 94th for expected assists was also ranking in the 56th percentile for non-penalty xg and whilst his non-penalty goals and shots are quite low this is because he isn't a goal scoring central midfielder he's more of the creator who will get to the final third and look to play the pass to then create the chance and he does actually rank in the 87th percentile for non-penalty xg plus expected assists but this isn't it as i do also think he could play as a side steepest central midfielder sitting behind the midfield two playing as an anchor man because he has got the defensive qualities he ranks in the 95th percentile for tackles completed showing his ability to put in tackles in the center of the pitch whilst also ranking in the 89th percentile for pressures completed showing how good he'd be in an aggressive pressing system and it's this versatility between roles in central midfield as well as his all-round ability both on and off the ball that makes him so valuable and i think if newcastle can get him for around 33 million pounds which is a reported fee then i think it will be an absolute still as I genuinely think that Guimaraes could play for any club in Europe and that does include the likes of PSG, Real Madrid, Liverpool etc and not look out of place. If he was at a different club and had a longer contract I think he'd definitely be worth upwards of £60 million so the current price is an absolute bargain and if Newcastle don't get him every club in the Premier League and across Europe should be looking at him. I did put him as one of my suggestions for the creative midfield spot in Manchester United central midfield so I'll leave that video and some others linked in the description below for you to check out after. So thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel, check out the phone cases linked in the description and click the notification bell so you get notified when my videos come out.